Dex. The fear gauge for Bitcoin, a one by two call spread, bought at zero cost. Please tell me this is what we're discussing. I just heard about that, Taylor, and you can bet that thing will be moving in big ways over the days and weeks to come. Not today, but maybe tomorrow we'll be talking more about that Bitcoin VIX. Today we are going to talk rotation with Christian Bromhertz of Tribeca Trade Group. Great to have you with us, Christian. It's been about a year since I've actually been able to see you, so it's great to have you uh, joined by video, and I'm so glad that you're doing well and are safe. So relative to the rotation, we have these cyclical sectors really on fire. You expect it to continue. Yeah, and uh, great to be here, Abigail. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I think what's going on right now is some interesting rotations, right? We've heard a lot about growth and tech, but um, what has me particularly excited is, is to see the strength in industrials, materials, transports, even the home builders, you know, with um, with what we're seeing and, and, and hearing about interest rates, it's really interesting to see the home builders breaking out. That's the ITB ETF. Yeah, it is pretty amazing given the fact that rates are up so much this year, and yet we do have that home building ETF, that sector climbing as well. Does this speak to euphoria or when you look more broadly at uh, options gauges, is there signs of, uh, you know, some, some sort of wisdom guiding the markets? Not just euphoria. Yeah, I mean, well, certainly over the last few months, we've seen an explosion in, in option volume. Uh, but this week, you know, one of the things that I think is is fairly decent is that we're starting to see some complacency come out of the market. We could see that with the equity put call ratio. It's not really at crazy high levels. You know, I would look for something around like a 0.8 for a, for a contrarian signal. But to see it get up to around 0.6 a couple times this week. Um, just tells me that there's a little bit of that complacency coming out of the market, which makes me rest a little bit easy at night. Yeah, that certainly makes sense, especially given the fact that the VIX is still stubbornly about, above 20, but perhaps that will be the new normal, similar to what it was uh, years ago. And you can make the argument that's exactly where it should be as a sign of uh, traders recognizing that something could go wrong, even with all the liquidity. So returning to the cyclicals, uh, your trading idea is on DuPont. Yeah, I, I really like what's going on in the materials, in particular the chemical companies. So one of those companies that I like is DuPont. It's not extended here. It did get extended a, about a month ago, but it's kind of come right back into about the 50-day moving average, the 100-day moving average, and now is back above the 50-day moving average. So I, I think it sets up well for a nice option trade, and you don't have to spend a lot here. The DuPont uh, April 80 calls for about $1.80, I think is good risk-to-reward here. Christian from her.